All right, YouTubers, so we are going to go ahead and update our MSI MPG 490 Gaming Edge Wi Fi motherboard. All right, so the first thing you want to do uh, at startup is start banging on the good old delete key. All right, since it's MSI, it's going to bring up the BIOS. And what you want to do is check to see what BIOS you have, okay? So in this case, we have March 24th, 2020. Today is actually uh, June 6th, 2020. So relatively new BIOS. However, uh, this is, you know, new technology, right? Intel 10th Gen. So most likely um, there is something important that uh, got updated. Uh, maybe you can get by without it or maybe you need it. So let's go ahead and uh, check out MSI's page and see if there's a BIOS update. All righty, YouTuber. So we checked the BIOS and now let's go to MSI's page and see uh, what is out there. So we're going to type in MSI Gaming, if I can spell it, Edge Wi-Fi Z490, blah, blah, blah. And lo and behold, it's the first thing up here. It's very important that you pick the right um, motherboard, right? So you don't want to... I think there's a Z390 out there. You don't want to try and put that BIOS on this motherboard. Whether it work or not is another story. I've never tried it and I never plan to. Um, all right, so over here I just selected on support. That brings us uh, to here. And you'll select this BIOS tab if for whatever reason it is uh, doesn't automatically go to it. Now. You saw on here, this is the BIOS that I had. Now there is a new version. So before you do anything uh, as far as updating BIOS, you want to ask yourself a couple things. One, is this computer actually running satisfactory? All right. Um, if it is, you probably don't want to do this. All right. Two, are you in the middle of a hurricane tornado, thunderstorm, or any other possible natural disaster that you might lose power. Now, if the answer is yes, definitely do not do the BIOS update because it's going to take a few minutes. And the last thing you want to do is have um, lose power in the middle of it because it will brick your motherboard. Now, the other thing is also um, if for whatever reason something were to go wrong with updating the BIOS can you actually afford to replace this motherboard alright so yours truly luckily um, I've got this channel and we uh, take all of our income and put it back into the channel I do not walk away with any uh, I'll call it profit because it's all put back into this this business so uh, luckily, you know, I can afford to do this. You may not uh, want to take that risk, okay? So those are the things you've got to ask yourself. Um, personally, for most of you, I'd recommend you not do this. Um, those of you out there that are overclocking, you might want to do it. Uh, this, this looks like this might be worthwhile, um, especially if you're running uh, better RAM. Now me, I've got the i5-10400. I've only got 3200 megahertz RAM, even though I got pretty close to buying uh, 4133 today. But uh, that's another story. All right, so let's get back on track. So you've decided you're going to go ahead with the update. Going to come over here, and I'm going to click on this, download the file. And lo and behold, what do you want to do with it? So... At this point, put a thumb drive into your computer. And it's always smarter to put it into the motherboard and not the case. Uh, sometimes your computer will not actually recognize uh, the USB uh, in the case versus the motherboard. I don't know why that is. Uh, most of the time, it's not a problem. Sometimes it is. 
So we're going to do a save as and lo and behold, I don't see my thumb drive in there. So we've got to put a thumb drive in. All right. All right, so our thumb drive is in volume F, and we're going to drop this. Um, we're going to drop this in there. Do a save, and now down at the bottom. Obviously, there's multiple ways to do this. Um, you want to open folder, okay? So some of you may not um, realize this, but you've got to extract this file it's zipped computer's not going to read it you're going to get an error message okay so there's our uh, our file and a text file that goes with it now um, for further reference you can also um, check MSI's page I believe uh, they have some documentation you can look at and there's also an additional YouTube video uh, though I don't believe after you watch this, you will need to watch theirs. Okay, so we've got the file. It's in the thumb drive. And it is plugged into a USB on our motherboard. We are ready to reboot this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, get us back to the BIOS and we are going to go use mflash all right so this is going to pick up uh, back with the cell phone recording apologize for that because i do not have my good capture card anymore and so we have to use the uh, the camera all right so i'm going to stop the recording now uh, basically from here i would do a restart of the computer all right folks so uh picking it up here there's our uh, folder and I'm going to go down here to the bottom. You guys all know how to do this, right? Probably. We're going to hit restart. And then as it's doing its thing, I'm going to start jamming on the uh, keyboard. On the delete key. All right, so I'm just going to keep doing that. And eventually the BIOS will pop up. All right, so there we are again. You can see we have updated the BIOS. Now, down here, lower left is the uh, M flash. We're gonna go ahead and select that. And it's gonna ask you this question, system will reboot and enter flash mode. Do you want to enter flash mode? Why, yes, I do. So a lot of times, depending on the BIOS, there may be a, a shortcut key. Uh, such as F5 to get you right there. Um, that on the Eris, uh, on the Eris ones, it does that. Yeah, I have a knock to a cooler in the way, so couldn't actually uh, fit the RAM in. Oh well. All right, so here we are. There is the uh, the drives, okay? You can see I have a lot of drives on this computer. Uh, but luckily, added a USB right at the top. And it is already highlighted over here, okay? So this may not happen for you, but uh, it did for me. So there is our folder, okay? So we want to double click on that. Or not double click, one time click. All right, and there is the file. We are um, going to hit enter on the keyboard. Okay. Are you sure you want to select this file? Hell yeah, I've never been more sure, even though the air conditioner just popped on. And that thing sucks up a lot of energy, but we're going to go for it. Oh, let's check outside and make sure the weather's good. So, possibility of a storm out here, folks. Um, maybe not the best idea. Uh, so, check to see if you've got lightning, if you happen to be in Hawaii right now like I am. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and proceed. All right. So, are you sure, you're sure Are you sure to select this file? What kind of English is that? Um, 
Hell yeah, let's do it. BIOS is updating, okay? So here is some warnings. Don't shut down a restart system until BIOS update process is completed. Notice mouse and keyboard would be locked during updating. So we've got that going. It's keeping track of the temperature. Even uh, gives you Celsius and Fahrenheit. How about that? There's my uh, CPU fan running. And basically, uh, it's doing its thing, folks. So I'm, uh, I've done quite a few of these, uh, as you can probably tell. I try to entertain myself a little more each time. Try and make these better. And, uh, you know, I went, I went and bought another capture card as this thing keeps going. Um, so that I'd be able to do these videos uh, one shot without, uh, you know, having to switch. Um, and it'll make for a better video, but uh, obviously um, we don't want to miss anything. So I will probably record uh, still with a camera just in case. But uh, yeah, so at this point, notice... Um, I'm, I'm making sure that I'm far enough away from the computer and uh, you don't want to touch this thing okay when this thing restarts restarts whatever how many ever times it's going to restart um, at some point you will uh, be able to uh, log in okay that's that's the point that you want to touch it not until that point though Now, sadly, um, there may be, you know, some percentage of you that uh, there is a failure. Um, I've, I have uh, probably done, I'm thinking, 20 of these videos. Yeah, there's there's a problem with the monitor. Um, that's why that's why I have three of them. Um, so. There, uh, oh. oops. All right, so you know we don't want to touch this thing. Um, eventually, it will it will make. So it has uh, restarted. Uh, hopefully, I will remember to get it to capture the screen. Now. You may have an issue where it does something in your BIOS and changes the settings if you have multiple hard drives. And let's say you have multiple hard drives that have different operating systems on them. So you may have to go in here and uh, adjust some settings. And you may um, have to uh, change your boot priority, okay? so But just so you see, we have a new BIOS on here. All right, there's the new one. May 21st, 2020, and uh, you know whether we can really uh, change much about this is another story because I don't have the super awesome RAM uh, that a lot of you guys have, but uh, yeah, there you go. So um, it's all updated, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.